Hello YouTube, this is Branko from Euro Yachts Australia at the uh, Southport Yacht Club and uh, we are selling a very unusual but very well built and capable ETAP 24i. Now these are around 26 foot overall. Um, they've got Selden rig on them with a gas rod kicker, uh, batten main, swept pack spreaders, it's a fractional rig. Um, extremely quick boat if you want to have a bit of fun or um, you can take it cruising. It will actually accommodate six adults for the day and uh, will sleep four. Um, it's got a spray hood, um, it's got a bimini on the back as well. Obviously we can see the lazy jacks there and the boom bag. Um, we'll just go around. This boat has just been anti-fouled and polished. So it's had the International Micron Plus anti-foul on there. Um, these came with a couple of options from the factory when they were new. One was the um, outboard fitting, which this one has. This has the Honda 10 horsepower power thrust. So this is the four blade propeller. Um, so it's designed for pushing the boat. It'll do about six and a half to seven knots max, uh, but it'll sit quite happily at about five to five and a half. Um, but why would you want that when you can open up the sails and have a bit of fun? Uh, once it's tilted out of the way, there's no drag on the bottom, uh, so she's quick. And talking of bottom, she's only 900, that's correct, 0 0.9 draft. Um, she's not a retractable keel, uh, this is a fixed bolted keel, a lead keel. Uh, it's a German design, as you'll probably see on the ad. Quite unusual, but it's, it works extremely well. This allows you to get into all the nooks and crannies and lets the boat perform really well too. Um, so this one's had quite a number of extras fitted. Um, the E-Taps come with twin rudders. You've got the bathing ladder there. Got a solar panel. Um, obviously we've seen the outboard. One of the options was a, a little 10 horsepower Yanmar in these with the sail drive. Um, cockpit's actually quite spacious. So we've got the extension on the tiller. Uh, the tiller does move out of the way completely. And as you'll see, there's a nice table that goes there and uh, it'll accommodate six adults in this cockpit, no problem at all, um, or four in great comfort. Um, everything from the uh, lines comes into just under the spray hood, so um, even your jib or headsail all goes all here into the uh, spray hood area. There's only two winches and it works extremely quickly. If you want to use this in a twilight race, it's almost cheating because uh, uh, the tacking is extremely quick, as is the steering with the uh, tiller arm. Um, just before we jump on board, we'll just have a look at a few details on this boat. So you'll notice it's got these rails all the way around. The rear forms part of the cleat. These go all the way around. The rigging is out of the way and these non-slip um, pads here, they're from factory, they're actually inlaid into the hull and they are still extremely good. This was built to a very, very high standard. So we've got the track on here for the headsail. As I said, we've got a Selden gas rod kicker, forward hatch, got a Furlix furlet for the headsail. Got the, um, the anchor locker in there as well, uh, with chain and rope. And as I said, if we have a look at the hull, this has just been all anti-fouled and polished. And it's nice and glossy and smooth. You can just feel the polish and the wax on there, ready to go. Um, the full stay has been done in the head cell by Cookie, if people know him on the Gold Coast, one of the best riggers there is. Let's just jump on board and have a closer look. So the main sheet is just off to the side here, which allows room if you're uh, under anchor or entertaining. This comes out of the way, like so. 
and as you've seen in the pictures we've got the uh, the hole here for the um, table pedestal just next to the pad eye and the controls for the outboard are just there and it's got an extension as well for the gear forward neutral and reverse which works really well let's put that back on here Lockers are really nice and deep. We've got the main tank, spare tank. Uh, there's plenty of depth. We've got a manual bilge pump as well as an electric bilge pump. On this side we've got some more storage. Reef anchor, spare lines, etc, etc. This boat does actually come with um, an autopilot, the Raymarine, the ST1000, if I remember correctly. It just uh, plugs in there, plugs in there, and you know how the rest works. That's the uh, label from the factory, so these are made in Belgium, or were made in Belgium. Unfortunately, ETAP are no longer around. Um, they were um, overwhelmed by the GFC. However, these were made to a very high standard. All E-taps are unsinkable. Yes, you heard that right. Um, they actually um, show that and it's been tested. If you look on YouTube, you'll find where they've actually opened the seacocks on some of these boats out in the open. The water goes up to roughly about your knee on the inside and that's as far as it gets. It's a, it's a hull in hull design. It's a very, very clever um, setup. Um, so if you're very, very unlucky, uh, you're not gonna go down. As I explained earlier, everything comes up to under the spray hood. So your head sill, your furler, your main, everything is here. Main sheets obviously at the back. Um, there is also a cross member bar that goes across here, which you'll see in the advertising in the pictures. Um, that slots in and that's got its own traveller so that allows you for a little bit more fun and performance uh, when you're in a race otherwise you just connect the main sheet to the pad eye so that allows plenty of room in the boat for everybody if you've got a few more people on board and you just want to be cruising. Up here we've got a speed log, typical Raymarine, uh, depth gauge and a compass these obviously illuminate at night and down below, we just uh, put that into a slightly wider plume. Uh, for a small boat, uh, it's extremely well appointed. Uh, very, very clean, dry. Um, it's got the teak style flooring. It's got two big lounges on either side. Let's just hop in and have a closer look. Plenty of storage. It's got a little stove here, but obviously it's got a barbecue for the back. Uh, sinks on here, still a whale manual pump. Uh, the tanks roughly about 50 litres fresh water, which is under the front bed. Um, you can quite easily make this electric if you wanted to. Uh, plenty of storage, cup holders. Everything is really, really well made and appointed in this boat. You could well think that you're in a much bigger boat than a 26 footer. So this is the bar I was talking about, which is the Traveller. That connects into the cockpit and the main sheet. More storage on this side. More storage on this side. Cupboards are actually quite deep. Another really interesting feature of this boat is if we have a look here, this is one of the single berths which is quite long. I'm six foot two, I can easily lie down here in comfort. And this back section here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this by one hand. Maybe not, or maybe yes. Goes down here and connects to these two points. So when it becomes a berth at night, if I can get this in, gives you plenty of space 
So as I mentioned before, four adults in comfort, two up front, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, we've got uh, sprung mattresses on the front and we've got sprung mattresses on the starboard side, but the original foam mattress, which is quite firm on the port side. Got the uh, VHF radio and a little stereo below. More storage on this side. That's where the autopilot is. More storage again. Under the seats, as an example, we've got plenty of deep storage. On both sides, there are four lockers. Um, in the galley, got the bin and a bit of storage underneath. And on this side, we've got a little um, door that comes up here and bolts into here. And it gives you an extra work surface for the galley. Very clever design. As we move in the midsection, this uh, wardrobe door is actually the table as well. And that pops out. You can see it's shelved under here and it's got more storage up on the top. And that's the support halfway down where it uh, plugs into the pedestal. And that will go out and serve as a table in the cockpit or in the salon. Now if we go forward, we've got a, a V berth at the front here. Again, I'm six foot two. I can lie down, there's plenty of leg room for me so you can get two adults in here. And obviously you've got the hatch up above with a bit of storage on either side. And I've got some cushions here for the cockpit. And just behind, there is a door so you can have privacy in this cabin. Like so, there's a mirror on here. And then we've got a, an electric toilet on this side now. This is a Thetford style toilet, but this boat does have um, seacocks um, on the hull for intake and outtake for a sea toilet. But normally on these, when you um, uh, option up the sea toilet, the holding tank would be here. So the holding tank does take up a little bit of room. Uh, but this little unit here, which is quite recent, um, um, is electric and does the job very well uh, but the choice is yours you can reinstall a sea toilet if you wish to so there we have it so this boat is a 2006 it was first purchased in melbourne in 2006 for hundred and eighteen thousand dollars at the time um, it is now on the market for thirty eight thousand dollars asking um, the boat's been polished, it's been anti-fouled, the engine's been serviced. Uh, the boat presents in 9 out of 10, I would say. Everywhere I look, it's clean and tidy. Everything works. There's no damage and the boat is built to a very, very high standard. comes with two batteries, so there's a, an engine battery which is charged um, by the um, Honda. There's a solar panel and a deep cycle battery as well for uh, all your charging needs for your refrigeration. Um, it's got USB ports and a little uh, charge controller there. Tells you what's going on. And if we can just see in here, that's from the factory. That's where the sail drive would go from the um, Yanmar if you did have a diesel installed in here too. Well, um, look forward to hearing from you. Please contact me on 0428 780 644. That's 0428 780 644. I'll be more than happy to tell you more about the boat, show you the boat. And if you like the boat and you wanted to keep it at Southport Yacht Club, um, you can do that too. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.